And over on Mism here with the International 4 announcement. The day this video is going to get published is probably going to be two days from the actual announcement. So you guys have maybe already stumbled upon the info or maybe even went on this page already. So for those who don't really remember, um, the International, the best and the biggest tournament of Dota 2. And we have been, you know, it's been four years since the beginning now. The International won 1.6 million straight off the bat. And last year went up to $2.6 million thanks to the crowdfunding success and the compendium. So maybe maybe we'll hit like 3 million this year, who knows. So let's go over this page. We have a very nice, very, very beautiful animation with the Aegis of the Immortal with some fog flying from behind. And we have the five heroes that were used by Alliance in their victory versus Navi in their last game. So spoiler alert in case you haven't watched the last game of the International 3. We have uh, AGM on Wisp, Loda playing Chaos Knight, Bulldog on the Nature's Prophet, and Aki playing the Crystal Maiden with S4 on Puck. We probably all remember Puck with his very beautiful dream call that prevented Navi from TPing back home to defend against the uh, you know last push of Loda's Chaos Knight was with uh, Wisp re uh, relocating in their base and Bulldog just teleporting inside and just going ham on the Ancient. So, let's go over um, the details because they are already known. We have uh, basically this International 4 is going to happen at Key Arena at Seattle Center instead of being in the Benaroya Hall like the last two, uh, International 2 and International 3. So it's way bigger than last time. Uh, it's may, it may be less, you know, comfy and super nifty with the, you know, the, the, the concert hall with the red seats and everything that was really, really nice ambience. But the problem is uh, many people wanted to go and not many people could actually fit in it. So uh, at least Key Arena means more people will be able to get there and to enjoy the show. Uh, so it's also happening a lot earlier than the other times. Uh, basically the International 2, 3, uh, and even the 1, I think were in late August. And this time it's July 18th to 21st, which is very early. Um, it's also still going to be at Seattle because of course uh, Valve's headquarters is right next to Seattle. So it's way easier for them. Uh, to help in uh, you know the tournament to actually organize it. I know for a fact that Valve's employee are the ones that are usually making the preparation uh, and we have a lot of Valve employee on site. So if you ever want to discuss with a Valve employee, by the way, uh, by going to the International, you are probably going to find a, a lot of them and you, you can you know hit them up with a chat. So who are the invited teams this time? We have of course Alliance, the winner, of the International 3 with S4, Admiral Bulldog, Loda, Aki, and EGM. They haven't changed since last year. Titan is the basically the team coming for Southeast Asia. Uh, it has been a bit, um, you know, people have been complaining a bit because Titan has not been performing as well as, uh, let's say, Southeast Asian teams last year where we had Zenith and we had Orange and we had MUFC, although MUFC kind of like fell apart, 0-16 in the group stages. Orange went up to the third place, and uh, Zenith, uh, I don't remember how where they actually placed, I don't think it was actually that great. So who is Titan, and what happened to Orange? Basically, Orange, um, Orange just uh, took a new roster, so you'll see in the qualifiers, and um, Ohio, Net, Extinct, and Yamate went to Titan. So the only one who isn't here, who was original from Orange, was is uh, Mushi. Mushi went to DK. So instead, oh wait, no, it's KYXY, Ohio, Net, and Extinct that were actually on tight on uh, Orange before. Yamate was on Zenith, I think, and now he joined uh, Titan. So Titan hasn't been performing that well lately. Uh, but you know the same could be said about Orange. Who actually guessed that they could go up to? third place in the International 3, beating up some very good Chinese teams like LGD, uh, you know, DK even fell apart, etc, etc. So who knows, we may have a very good surprise. And I also know Ohio 
pretty well. I know he's a very good player. And God's even said in one of his casts that he believes Ohio is one of the star player of the you know unsung hero of Titan, and that he believes Ohio could be in one of the top teams like Navi and Alliance and still be performing as well. So it's a lot of um, you know a lot of face put in Ohio by uh, God's. And KYXY also known for his deny of the ages in the international. This is so unfortunate and he was so, so sad because a lot of the game actually was lost because of that, because of the loss of momentum, because of the loss of confidence after making that mistake. Alright, so enough about uh, Titan. Let's go on to Evil Genius. So EG has been performing very well since, oh, you know, very well, it's always reli uh, related, but have been performing quite well. Uh, Fear, Arteezy, Universe, Zai, and PPD. So with the addition of Arteezy in the mid lane, uh, EG has really been doing well lately. Uh, so it's it's no actually it's no surprise that we see them for the United States side. A uh, Fnatic, of course, Fnatic, always always performing quite well uh, here and there. Uh, we always know all, all know about No Tail and his Mipo support. Uh, it's it's a team that is hard to dislike. They, these guys are like really really cool to watch and always very entertaining. So Fly, No Tail, Era, Hanny, and Trixie. Newbie might be a little bit of a ah. Why did invite Newbie? Well, Newbie has very very good star players. Uh, How that was playing in Tung Fu before. Mu I think was also in Tung Fu. Xiao It was in LGD. Banana was in. I can't really remember, and Sen Cheng was in... I, I do remember that he was in Tai Lu before, like a long time ago, but those players in China are all very well known. Although they haven't been performing that well, um, it's still a pretty new team, but it's also a pretty stable team, which is the reason why apparently uh, IceFrog has decided to put them in the invited team. Vici Gaming is kind of the same, um, haven't been performing that well, but they all have super good players. RTK, Siler, Super, Fenrir, FY, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's star players all over the place. Fenrir, FY were already in VC Gaming before, uh, by the, you know, the time where we had CTY and can't remember the others, but Siler, Siler all know, like the Super Curry from LGD, RTK, the offlaner, from IG, I remember, I think, and Super, it's, uh, you know, Super, I think it's uh, Secret Weapon X as well. So Navi, Navi, no one wonders about Navi, Pape X, uh, Havos, Dandy, Funic, and Kuroki. Uh, Kuroki. So those guys are uh, champions of the International 1, and uh, finalists in the International 2 and 3. So they, even though they didn't win, they were still getting up there. Uh, so yeah, they, they don't need it to any introduced in, um, in uh, DK, DK is like one of the favorite to win right now because they have been performing super well uh, it's also one of the star team because burning you know burning the the super curry and burning is also backed up by superstar mushi that went to the third place uh, orange third place was a lot on mushi's back uh, player uh, people have said and i do agree that mushi has performed very very surprisingly well in the international three ice 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 the lovable troll from Venus that everyone likes and that is also super super good mechanically. He's probably one of the most mechanically sound players in Southeast Asia and even maybe in the world. Lanham and MMY, two very solid supports from China as well. So DK right now, one of the favorite uh, for, for from China at least to win. Uh, IG right now are also qu quite in a slump at the moment. They have tried to switch some roles around, but you know, can't really say much about IG at the moment. So Luo, Ferrari, Truan, YYF, and Faith, still very good players. I mean, it's not about the players right now. The players are all known, like Vichy Gaming, Newbie, and IG. They all have star players, but the question is, is the gameplay going to follow? Everyone was scared of the Chinese for TI2, for TI3, a Chinese uh, player, you know, Chinese team were said, oh, you know, they will be rolling on everyone and didn't happen. The finals were against, like, between Navi and Alliance, so two Western teams that was a really big surprise. And even the third place was Orange, was Southeast Asia, not even Chinese. So this year, China doesn't come in as a rolling wrecking ball, except for DK. So we'll have to see how the other teams fare. 
Cloud9 with Eternal Envy, Sing Sing, Bone7, Aoi2000, Pai Lai Dai. Uh, they have been, you know, they had their up and downs, but mainly they have been stable as a team. And, um, you know, people can easily hate Eternal Envy for being, you know, emo or whatever, but he is super dedicated to improving. So at least we have that, uh, you know, that we have to really... Uh, um, Let's say we have to respect in Eternal Envy. It's still the, the the fact that he wants he wants it. He he's training all the time. He's analyzing stuff all the time, and well, of course, Sing Sing as well. Uh, you know the lovable Sing Sing, the the <laughs> the Western troll, the Western version of uh, Ice Ice Ice, in my opinion, <laughs> and Team Empire. So Team Empire, kind of like eh, Team Empire. Yeah, well, Team Empire has been performing very well as well lately. So. Although they did lose to Dog for very recently, for example, but they have been doing some very very nice stuff. So Silent, Venscore, Mag, always on the fly, and Resolution. So it's always nice to see them uh, coming back, you know. Um, so we have a, a total of eight, uh, eleven invited teams, so way less than before because this time we have four qualifiers and one wild card. So four qualifiers make uh, the entire uh, you know set going to fifteen and the playing series, which is the wild card, is going to add the last team. So we have one American qualifier, one Southeast Asian qualifier, which is more like Southeast Asia and Korea, Chinese qualifiers and Europe qualifiers. And then the uh, the runner-ups for all the qualifiers will be playing for uh, the last spot. So regional qualifiers, uh, we see that it starts in May 12th. So this is less than two weeks from now. And it's going to be a whole lot of Dota because the way it goes is every team is going to be playing against each other in a very very big like basically group stage and the best four are going to go into a double elimination bracket to his best of three so the two uh the third and the fourth place will be starting in the loser bracket if i understood well and the, f the first and the second place will be starting in the winner bracket the be the final match will be a best of five so America, we have Union Gaming, Sneaky Nix Assassins, No Earth Spirit, Osiris Gaming, E-Hug, CNB Esports Club, Team Liquid, Revenge Esports, North American Rejects, and Top 5. I can't really say I know I know any of these names. I mean, Team Liquid, of course, I know the name. E-Hug, I have heard about, uh, you know, quite some bit as well in some tournaments. But the rest is unknown to me because I'm not really a big, uh, you know, follower of the American scene. South Asia uh, was my specialty last year, so I know a lot more about the name Mineski, the Filipino team, Mistrust, which was considered as the best team after the big three uh, back in TA3, which was, uh, you know, MUFC, Orange, and Zenith was considered, were considered the big three, although MUFC really underperformed. Mistrust was supposed to be like the next step uh, right after, but uh, they got their place just took a, taken away by uh, LGD, which was put in uh, the South Asian uh, qualifiers due to a roster change. So basically, the fact that the Ice Frog decided not to invite LGD because they, they, they did a roster change just before the international uh, hurt the fact that, well, basically Mistrust couldn't get in afterwards. MVP Phoenix, the um, Korean team, you may have seen them trying to play in some European uh, tournament. Um, to no great success, I don't believe they will get into TI4, but maybe TI5. Scythe Gaming, First Departure, uh, First Departure also one of the, the top team last year with Mistrust, uh, but uh, performing really, really like, uh, either they like win super hard or they just lose like, like you know, really getting stomped. Arrow Gaming apparently are very good, but I haven't uh, really seen them because uh, they're, they're, it's basically a new team. It wasn't there uh, in TI3, back in TI3. Uh, RRQ, I do believe they're quite good. Zef Zephyr, which is the you know the the team uh, that uh, that has Pudge, uh, Pudge. <laughs> Purge, and that has Blitz as well. So those are European and Americans uh, who went to Korea to train. I'm not really sure they are going to be able to defeat the top teams in South Asia. Right now, they have only been competing against Korean teams, and Korean teams aren't that good. Execration and Orange Esports, which is a new Orange Esports. I think they, they like the, the roster is a lot of uh, ex-Hun players, but I'm not sure. China, we have Tongfu, LGD Gaming, so those two names we all know. 
uh, Speed Gaming China, uh, that is kind of new. CIS, uh, we see a lot of them in the uh, current tournaments. Dreamtime, not so much. Orenda, not so much. CND, we have seen some. Uh, new Element, not so much. New LGD team, all right. And Hyperglory team as well. Uh, and for Europe, we have Next KZ, MYM, Virtus Pro, Team Dog, Rocks Kiss, Aware Gaming, Relax, Power Ranger, Monomaniacs, and Hehe he United. All right, so. This is going to be it. You can see that uh, the dates are very, very close. As I said, less than two weeks. 12, 15 is America. 16, 19 is South, uh, Southeast Asia. 2023 20, is China. And 24, 27 is going to be Europe. So it's two weeks of un unstopped Dota. Just Dota, 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 Dota. So just fill up your schedule and be prepared for a whole lot of games. Although the quality of the games may not be as close as the top teams here. I uh, hope you did enjoy the video and that I uh, did inform you on some things that you didn't know otherwise I would feel pretty useless here. But in any case, uh, if you want more info or if you want to uh, check yourself, I will be putting the link below in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm really excited for the International Four. Although this time I won't be going to the you know key arena. Last year I actually had the privilege to go to the international three as staff as a, you know as a media staff uh, invited by um, by Valve thanks to me being in uh, Dota Talk but now you know work studies everything uh, not a lot of time anymore but still a lot of passion for Dota so I'll see you guys next time and I'll be doing a follow up video probably recapping or uh, giving more insight on the teams once I myself uh, get more information on them. See you guys.